Well, we're here with our second part of the UK tour, looking for investments for you, the investor out there. Uh, here with Warren Brasser from UK Property Partners. And uh, once again, it's been a fascinating couple of days. Now we're in the city of Hull, we're in the north of Hull, uh, close to another town here called Beverly. Amazing city that we, we, we saw today, uh, Hull. I mean, I've, I've just, it's been mind blowing in terms of the investments, uh, the opportunities, uh, and uh, all the ingredients for a good investment. You know, you need the finance, you need a good property, um, you need good pricing, you need good cash flow, you need good tenants. Um, the north, the north's more, more around cash flow investments. Um, so we, we're investing here for yields. Um, the, the capital growth uh, is, is a lot lower, it is tailored back. Um, but if you then really compare um, the yields up here, um, retrospect to um, let's take in London as an example. Um, you know, the, the yields, we're going to be getting, in some cases, three to four times the yields um, of what you can get in the capital city. So, you know, we, we're really attractive to Hull uh, on the basis of cash flow um, and, that, and that yield basis. In this case, you know, traditionally the 20% upward cash flow returns only uh, are largely on uh, the basis of the, the HMO or the, the houses of multiple occupation. Um, majority of uh, properties up here, you know, we're not, we're not talking about large-scale um, houses of multiple occupation. What we're looking at is typically five to six bedroom properties um, that are average properties for, for average people, right? Um, if you want to see it as a, as a buy to let, we won't look to target a single, uh, you know, single property with a, with a single tenancy. What we may look to do is acquire the, the freehold of, let's say, maybe a, a, a block of, of six, eight, ten flats, that sort of scale. Um, and when we're looking to acquire those type of assets, uh, we, we are able to get you know, the 20% upwards uh, in terms of the, re the, the return numbers. I think what's also key for us uh, is you know, we only, we're only really going to push go uh, on a, on a terms of an investment if we can get those sort of levels of returns. Um, you know, if we're not getting those numbers, uh, we, we're not going to be doing the, the investment. What we learned today as well, Warren, was um, from Rob in particular, who's a whole specialist. And, um, and he, he's an investor himself. He also would like to source deals for, for, the invest, for, for us at UK Property Partners, in particular for Warren and his team. And, uh, and then also, you know, we'd look at individual investment as well. But what he was saying that in particular in the city of Hull, and it's one of the sort of fundamentals of property investing, population growth. And we discussed it this morning, it's the five criteria which he measures by. Now the city of Hull, we went on a wonderful tour today and uh, we went through the city to understand what's actually going on. Once again, we saw cranes in the city. We saw Siemens, a massive employer with the wind farm. Hull's a, you know, incredibly strong port. Mm -hmm. um, it imports and exports uh, a large, a large uh, volume of timber as, as well as um, automotive type products, containerized goods. There's a lot of investment flowing uh, back into Hull. Um, Hull's been you know, awarded uh, the, the City of Culture um, in 2017. And the UK government itself is really looking to reinvest in the city, regenerate the city. So once again, there's demand. We heard about people that are renting out daily rentals in some cases in certain areas. That, that's correct, very, um, very much service apartment. Service department. Talk a little bit about that as well in pertaining to this HMO. I know we're diverting a little bit, but just, uh, just t talk a little bit about the service accommodation. Yeah, I think uh, service apartments, uh, you know, it is, it is one way of, of getting, let's say, more, more cash flow or additional yields out of a property. The, the, I guess the challenge, uh, you know, it does take a little bit of more management, uh, a little bit more expense because it is, it is more of a hands-on, far more of a hands-on investment than more of a, a medium term to a long term um, rental. Um, and, and, and on that basis, it, it, is a, it is an opportunity which we will look to diversify into. Um, it's, not a, it's not a strong focus uh, for what we're looking to do right now though. Okay, so to maybe just describe a typical HMO deal in Hull. From a, let's say a five bedroom um, HMO, Neil, we, we would typically look to, to invest capital of, in the region of around uh, anything from 90 to about 110,000 pounds in total. Mm -hmm. um, now that would be from buying a property, that would be all the acquisition costs, it would be the full refurbishment. Um, it will be the, uh, the complete package, uh, furnished product ready to 
and I, and I want to I stress the word high quality product, yes, um, uh, in terms of then putting, putting, putting that out to the market and obviously attracting tenants. Now, on a, on a rental side, um, you know, if we're looking at a single room, we, we're probably around the, the 75 to the 85 pound per week uh, per room. Um, and if we're looking at sort of double bedrooms, uh, again, it's also driven on some, locali some locations within the city. Mm. Um, but we're sort of looking at bottom end 85 pounds on a double room uh, and right up probably to, uh, in some cases, just depending on locations, they can even get up to 120 pounds per room per week. Okay, so a lot of the properties we saw today, uh, I must say, you know, and it varies obviously from the kind of properties that are available on the market, but I thought they were pretty good quality compared to some of the other cities and pretty good pricing. Um, so good to go. You, there is a little bit of maintenance. Maybe just take us through in terms of the, that particular property because we're talking about maybe the boiler. Maybe we just look at uh, costs or let's say operating yes. costs in, 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 in yeah. total. Right? Yes. What we're looking to do is essentially we need a, 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 a strong management company on board. Yeah. Um, now a management yes. company is usually in the region of uh, 10 to 12 percent of your, your monthly rental. Um, in addition to that, if we're running um, an HMO property, um, on that basis, uh, we're going to have costs uh, in terms of, you know, the, the landlord's going to take on board the, the costs in terms of the council tax, uh, as well as um, any associated utilities, which would include electricity, water, uh, gas, gas supply or gas provision to the property. Uh, in addition to that, we always got to, we need to have a provision fund uh, for maintenance, you know, you did mention some items like uh, boilers. You know, some of the bigger, the bigger, the bigger maintenance items are largely plumbing related or largely um, electrical related. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, every sort of few years, you do need to sort of keep continually uh, do the minor upgrades on your property. Uh, you know, new carpets, uh, new lick of paint, the the the, the, the other costs. So in this case, you know, given the the quality of products that we offer, we, we offer you know TV licenses, cable TV, um, internet, um, cleaning services, as well as garden or garden services for the for the property. Um, and you know it's important that that's that's all inclusive of what we see as that high that high quality product that we're offering. So all the fundamentals of a great investment out there in the UK. Um, I've personally been absolutely blown away. Um, I'm really looking forward to our next journey. Uh, which is where you quite heavily invested, uh, Warren, yes. which is in Grimsby. Now, some people say, well, where's Grimsby? We will let you know in our <laughs> next series. Thanks very much, Warren. It's been fantastic chatting.